What's going on, Everly Sports? Back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be recapping the Toronto Raptors 2021-2022 season. As this season was a huge success for the Raptors in many eyes, and I think the Raptors really impressed this season. You take a look at where they finished in the Eastern Conference. It was ultimately fifth uh, in the East. Um, they're a team that um, exceeded expectations. They went 48 and 34. This was a year that teams thought we were going to be 12 or 13 in the East. Personally, I had them as eighth in the conference. Um, I thought Brooklyn would be a bit better. Uh, I thought the Hawks would continue the success they had last season. Um, and I thought the Bulls would be ahead of the Raptors. So all pretty close calls there. Uh, but uh, ultimately, the Raptors exceeded my expectations for them. I still thought they would win the play-in and move on to the playoffs. But um, the Raptors exceeded expectations. And a lot of people disrespected them. Uh, I think I think if you put them anywhere between you know 7 to 10 or, you know, 6 to 9, I think that's pretty respectable coming into the year. Um, but people that had them, like, 12, 13, 14, I mean, that's just a disgrace um, to say that. But uh, the Raptors were very good this season. I mean, you take a look at them as a team, uh, they they were very good. You take a look at their, you know, team stats, player stats, individual, uh, they were very good. Uh, they were very good. Uh, the, 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 the team leaders, you know, just taking a look right now, team leader, of course, in points, Pascal Siakam, 22.8 points per game. He was fantastic. Followed by our, and, and not to mention Pascal Siakam was snubbed of the all-star game. He will and absolutely should be an all NBA player. Um, and then followed by our, our you know, our all-star Fred Van Vliet follows him. He had 20.3 points per game. So he was very good this season. Then Gary Trent Jr., he was very good as well. 18.3 points per game. He was the third leading scorer on the team. Take a look at rebounds per game. 8.5, 7.5, 6.5 in the order of Siakam, Barnes, and Achua. Achua was fantastic this year. He took a huge step up. Uh, he really impressed a lot of people. I knew he always had something in him. I knew that Masai Ujiri, um, his organization, Nick Nurse and his coaching staff, would be able to evolve Precious Achua. He showed some really, really nice promise with the Miami Heat. Eric Spolstra did not not let him shoot the three ball. Nick Nurse let him shoot the three ball here, and look what that turned into. He looks to be one of the better, no, I'm not going to say one of the better, but a very good three-point shooting center in the NBA. In a bench roll, Achua averaged about Almost 10 and 6.5. And so that's very good off the bench in minutes, not huge minutes. Um, so it's very good to see from Chua. Of course, Van Vliet, then he led the Raptors in assists per game. 6.7 assists a night, followed by Siakam at 5.3 and Scotty Barnes at uh, 3.5. Then we got Siakam led the team in field goal percentage just by 0.2. He had a 0.2 edge over Scotty Barnes. And then Chris Boucher was third. And then free throws, Fred Van Vliet. He leads three uh, free throw percentage, followed by Trent Jr. and Boucher. And then three-point field goal percentage. Gary Trent Jr. led the Raptors, with, followed by Fred Van Vliet and Precious, Precious Achua, who shot 36% from three this year, which was um, very, very good for Achua. And he wasn't scared to shoot it. He took some, you know, decent amount of shots. We're going to see that in the playoffs. And then steals, Gary Chen Jr. and Fred Van Vliet, they're tied for the lead with the Raptors at 1.7, followed by Siakam at 1.3. Blocks per game is Chris Boucher at 0.9 blocks, followed by Barnes and Siakam. So you take a look at the stats, Siakam, you know, he's in a lot of those categories. Same thing for Van Vliet, Trent, and Barnes. And not to mention OG Ananobi. We didn't even say his name once in there. That goes to show you how deep this Raptor team is. Now, granted, I know OG Ananobi, he had... Um, some unfortunate uh, injuries this year. He's been battling. Hopefully, he's at you know full strength. We need him to be full strength. Uh, that would be uh, obviously absolute, absolutely incredible. Um, we need OG Ananobi. Uh, he's a, he's just a key player to our to our team, uh, and hopefully, he's able to bring it in the postseason. But uh, you take a look at you know the Raptors. 
really. I think Nick Nurse, is, he just did a great job this year with this team. And I think I'm going to have a separate video on Nick Nurse because I really appreciate him and what he's done for this team and this organization since he's been the head coach. But I think he, there's a real case for him to be the coach of the year. But I'm going to have a video talking separately on that. We just get disrespected every year as, you know, Toronto Raptors, Toronto Blue Jays is the same because we're the only Canadian team in, you know, the respective league. So... That's that there, but Nick Nurse did a great job. He got this team back on track. This is what we're going to be. We're going to be a team that everyone doubts every year, and we're just going to push, and we're going to claw our way towards contending for titles. That's just going to be the Raptors for the next God knows how many years. And as a fan, what more could you ask for? I mean, I love it. It's the same thing that happened in 2019 when we won the title. No one thought we were going to win the title, and we went on to win the title. So it's very good to play that card uh, certainly, um, but you take a look at the Raptors as a team, and I think Scotty Barnes should be the rookie of the year. I don't think there's any question about it. He was terrific. Barnes was huge. He was very key. He does not look like a rookie one bit. He looks like a vet out there. Thaddeus Young, he was a great addition um, by Masai Ujiri. He provided some veteran leadership that's going to be key in the playoffs, and you saw at the end of the year how important he was playing fourth quarters, big minutes, big spots. He was great. Gary Trent Jr. took a step up, and he's been a fantastic player. He's a diamond in the rough, Masai Jerry found. Uh, you take a look at Achua, like I mentioned. Boucher was great. Uh, and then, of course, you know Ananobi, Siakam, uh, Van Vliet. We, we know what those guys there are, but the Raptors are just such a good and exciting team. Siakam should be on the All-NBA team, no doubt about it. Um... But the Raptors are really cruising and, you know, going into the right direction. I think this season was a huge success, a great season. I'm going to have a, vi a video previewing the Philadelphia 76ers series as the Raptors are set to take on the 76ers. What a series that's going to be. Um, I'm looking forward to that, no question about it. This is the team I wanted. Um, I wanted to play Philly. And now that we've got them, let's show them why exactly uh, we wanted them because they were a key, key team. There's no question. Uh, I think a lot of people um, wanted to play these guys uh, because the success we've had against them. And you take a look at the Raptors this season against teams uh, that are uh, above 500 uh it's remarkable. What what we were able to do was absolutely exceptional. Uh, it just was really remarkable. And I think that's, you know, that really goes to show you that we're a team that no one wants to play. We're a team that, you know, if we get hot at the right time and when we're playing at our best, you know, we fight. We always give it 110%. Um, and we're a team that could really beat anybody we play. And that's what I said at the beginning of the year. You know, I, I said we're gonna we're not we're not gonna be the prettiest team, but you know what? We're going to we're going to you know play at a hundred and ten percent because of the coaching staff we have, Nick Nurse. They know you know they know what's up. They really do, and uh, I, I just knew that we were always gonna play at that highest potential. That's what we've been doing, and uh, no team wants to play the Raptors in the playoffs. I can assure you, the Philadelphia 76ers are very scared right now of playing the Toronto Raptors. And as a fan, you've got to be happy. But guys, that's all I got in this video. You guys, let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on the Toronto Raptors 2021-2022 season. I think it was a huge success. Let me know what you guys think and leave all that good stuff down below in the comment section. And as always, please leave a like on the video. Stay tuned for my following videos and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Let's go Raptors.